Hi guys, welcome. So um, we've got everybody, almost everyone here. So let's give it a few minutes wait. I think um, about a couple of minutes and then we get started. Yeah? Okay, sure. I, I think um, we should be getting started. So we have a few coming in right now. Okay, well, let's kick it off, Josh, yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Leslie and I'm the Senior Product Manager at Blue Chip InfoCheck. Blue Chip InfoCheck is a leading service provider and a distributor of Synology product in Australia. Now, today's presentation, we will show you how to optimize surveillance deployment with Synology's one-stop solution, and at the end of the session, we will have some prizes for giveaways. Uh, just a little housekeeping before we get started. Uh, if you have any questions during the presentations, please type them into the question box in your control panel. We'll bring them up during the presentations and uh, as we have, well have time for the questions at the end. Okay, without any further ado, we turn to Joshua. So Joshua is from Synology Taipei, and he's the sales manager for the Australian market. Joshua, over to you. All right. Thank you, Leslie. And hello, everyone. Hope all you had a great weekend. My name is Josh, and I'll be your speaker for today's presentation. So in today's webinar, we'll discuss how Synology's one-stop surveillance solution can help businesses optimize their surveillance deployments. So just like Leslie said, we will have a Q&A session afterwards. So if you have any questions during the webinar, please do not hesitate to leave them in the questions box. So without further ado, let's get started. So based on our experiences with customers across various industries, we have identified four common challenges that arise during every project phase. Starting from the evaluation phase, businesses often have inquired with multiple vendors and confirmed the compatibility of each product, such as cameras, NVRs, and CMS. This can be time and resource consuming and may ultimately delay the project schedule. Second, during the deployment phase, businesses may encounter a steep learning curve due to inconsistencies in user interfaces across different devices. Additionally, training individuals who are not familiar with IT, such as security guards, HR personnel, or department managers can require significant time and resources. Moving on to operation phase after completing deployment, it is essential to prioritize the security of the system. When businesses integrate multiple systems, ensuring security can be challenging. And last but not least, in the management phase, managing multiple systems can be time consuming and resource intensive for IT personnel. On the other hand, managing with a single UI can improve user experience and facilitate system failover, maximizing service availability. We've discovered a solution that can address all the issues mentioned, a one-stop surveillance system, technology surveillance station. So this is specifically designed to help businesses overcome these challenges. The Synology one-stop solution offers the four core elements of a surveillance system, server hardware and software, Synology, highly scalable storage, and the client portal that supports multiple devices. To date, there are more than 2.3 million cameras connected to the surveillance station, protecting over 478,000 sites across industries, from world-famous hotel chains, manufacturers, institutions to shopping centers. And the list does not stop there. With the one-stop management, 
users only need to contact one support window, and this increases the effectiveness of deployment, operation, and management. We're thrilled to share how Synology can help customers overcome the challenges in each project phase. Starting from the evaluation phase, Synology offers flexible solutions that help businesses optimize the procurement process. Firstly, we have a comprehensive product line that can fulfill requirements for projects at all scales. Our products are suitable with a small branch office with two to three cameras, medium-sized businesses with about 50 cameras, as well as multinational corporations that demand multi-site management. For example, higher-end models with more capabilities can be used in credit quarters to perform multi-site management, while for branch offices, this station models will be ideal for day-to-day -day operations. Businesses can evaluate applications and budgets in different sites and customize the most effective surveillance infrastructure. Apart from the diverse choice of surveillance servers, Synology also puts a lot of effort into camera compatibility. We are constantly working to maximize camera compatibility, allowing businesses to choose from different cameras that accommodate their requirements and budget allocation. As of the present moment, Surveillance Station supports over 8,200 cameras from 140 well-known brands and integrates Omni Profile S for streaming and Profile G for edge storage. This allows users to flexibly design their surveillance infrastructure. Even for those with an existing system, integration can be done effortlessly. However, we have also recognized that surveying hundreds of cameras for new deployments can be extremely time consuming. So in order to streamline the pro deployment process, we are proud to announce the official launch of Synology cameras. The VC500 and TC500 are enterprise IP cameras that are built for high compatibility and streamline user experience. This means that businesses will no longer waste resources confirming compatibility, accelerating the deployment process, and improved operation and maintenance experience. Synology cameras do not use any IC manufactured in China, and production is based in Taiwan. While this decision has led to higher costs, we did not compromise on quality. And allow me to introduce the three unique selling points on Synology cameras. Easy to use, secure, and smart. Synology cameras can be quickly detected in surveillance station upon power-up, and all settings can be managed on a single portal. For example, in brighter areas, camera settings need to be adjusted to accommodate brightness and exposure so that clear footage is recorded. Another example is the recording rules. In order to save internet bandwidth, users may need to configure event recording instead of continuous recording. To achieve these without Synology cameras, users would need to access each camera's back end to adjust these settings and then confirm them again on the server portal. And if multiple brands of cameras were used, there will be different camera UIs, resulting in a complex and time-consuming procedure. While the purpose of a surveillance system is to ensure security, it is also essential for the system itself to be secure. So Synology has worked hard to prevent vulnerabilities in security systems, and that is why Synology Camera is NDAA and TAA compliant, and is produced and manufactured in Taiwan without using any IC prohibited by NDAA, ensuring data security. Finally, with smart AI detection, Synology offers a solution that can achieve a higher level of security management. For example, in a restricted area, such as a confidential server room that only certain staff can have access to, Intrusion detection can be implemented so that the security guard can be notified instantly when author unauthorized intrusion events occur. They can also track the event immediately using instant search to prevent loss of property. So combining its easy to use, smart and secure attributes, Synology Camera provides a more comprehensive one-stop surveillance management solution. So feel free to contact Blue Chip for the Synology Cameras to inquire for the availability of the Synology Camera. So apart from that, we have also discovered that storage allocation is also a major focus in the planning of surveillance infrastructure. For most companies, there is a demand for more storage, resulting from the improvement of video quality. Moreover, extended retention policies have been implemented to ensure daily operations are sufficiently monitored. As shown in the graph, from the beginning of 2021 to August 2022, the average storage used in NAS has increased by 20%. This indicates that most organizations have a growing demand for long-term recording. And under these circumstances, the flexibility to scale up would be especially crucial. 
In many cases, users were not able to purchase all equipment at once due to project schedules and budget allocation. While the existing solutions on the market commonly lack scalability, such as DVR systems, the overall deployment cost could be enormous because users would have to replace the whole system when the existing storage is not enough. As a vendor that provides versatile storage solutions, Synology offers a system that can scale up more seamlessly, allowing users to purchase the quantity based on the current demand while having higher flexibility in budget planning. Moving forward, I'd like to share how Synology's flexibility in planning benefited Taipei Station Front Underground Shopping Mall in deploying a surveillance system that perfectly meets their needs. Like many other shopping malls, they have a large number of visitors every day, and the visitor population is quite diverse. Therefore, it is essential for the organization to store the video in case the footage is needed to track critical incidents. Along with this demand, scalability is very important. The mall had previously deployed a DVR system, which was rough to operate and maintain. This drawback also resulted in them missing many key events. Therefore, considering the long-term maintenance cost and ease of operation, the mall decided to replace the net traditional analog system with an IP solution. They were seeking for a system that is easy to manage and maintain in order to overcome the issues that they had with the existing DVR. Compatibility was also a primary focus as they were deploying over 100 new cameras. And after evaluating the scalability, ease of operation, and maintenance, they decided to deploy Synology Surveillance Station. Specifically, they deployed 122 cameras with 3DS 3018XS as recording servers and 1DS 218 Plus as a CMS for centralized management. The digital transformation of a surveillance system can be a complex work, but with Synology's one-stop solution, requirements such as device compatibility and the flexibility to scale up can be easily managed. Moreover, with support for online storage expansion, Synology Surveillance Station allows for seamless expansion without disrupting current surveillance tasks, ensuring no footage loss during system expansion. As the saying goes, well begun is half done. Synology can help businesses streamline their surveillance deployment from the outset with its comprehensive product line, high device compatibility, and the flexible scalability. So a friendly reminder, if you do have any questions during the webinar, please, Feel free to put your questions in the chat box. Moving on to the deployment phase. Even after businesses have completed extensive research and purchased the ideal camera, setting up and importing them into the system can still be a time-consuming process. And that is why Synology has developed three methods to simplify the camera import process. Auto search, IP search, and spreadsheet import. So we'd like to show you how to import camera effortlessly with three, three methods to the surveillance station. To begin, we launch surveillance station from the DSM operating system. The user interface of Surveillance Station is similar to DSM, which is similar to the Windows operating interface. Users can view all the downloaded packages by clicking on the top left button. The intuitive interface allows users to quickly find the application needed. Moving on, we'll show you how to import cameras with ease. First, we launch the IP camera application. Surveillance Station offers three methods to import a camera, auto search, manually add cameras, and spreadsheet import. Auto search can be done by clicking add and all the IP cameras on the network will be detected instantly, allowing for quick setup for initial deployment. For environments that already have existing cameras deployed, we recommend using the second option, manual search. Users can input camera information and search the IP range manually to find the designated cameras. After selecting the cameras to be imported, we can edit the camera information. And if authentication is needed, we can enter the credentials here.
If there are multiple cameras that need to be imported and set up, we can select the batch manage on the top left and authenticate name or assign host server for multiple cameras. Then we click next to set up the cameras. Complete setup can further configure video format and quality, etc. Or choose copy settings to copy the configuration of the existing cameras that have been configured previously. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will select quick setup. Click next, then check all the settings, then click done. We can now see the cameras on the device list. Besides auto search and manual search, using spreadsheet import is also very useful for vast camera imports. In cases like commercial building that requires installing dozens of cameras at once, it would be very ineffective to import and set up cameras one by one. Therefore, Surveillance Station offers bulk import with camera list. Click more. So guys, import, it seems that we have no audio camera at the list, moment. So what then we download the template. Enter information such as camera name, IP address, port, brand, and models. If authentication is needed, we can also enter the credentials here. For the purpose of this demo, we have completed a camera list and let's import this list to surveillance station. We can also check the number of licenses available here. As long as the license needed is sufficient, we can successfully import new cameras. After importing all the cameras, businesses need to assign different levels of accessibility. Sorry. Okay, sorry after sorry for that. Okay, after importing all the cameras, businesses, businesses need to assign different levels of accessibility, enabling staff to manage, operate, and view the surveillance system. Synology NAS integrates with Active Directory, allowing businesses to join their NAS to the AD server. This integration enables the easy synchronization of user permissions when there are changes in staffing. RMD is a well-known convenience store brand in the U.S., who is also one of our customers that has benefited from the integration of AD servers. Like many other convenience stores, RMD has faced challenges in managing the security systems in all their stores, especially with rapid expansion and the use of different systems and new branches. Without a centralized management system, it takes at least a week for HQ to retrieve the footage requested for the branches, resulting in inefficiencies when tracking theft and other events that require CCTV footage. In the end, RMD bought a total of 56 disk station models as recording servers for each branch and an RS1619 XS Plus for centralized management. As the stores have constant changes in staffing, RMD integrated Synology NAS with their AD server to easily manage authority settings. By synchronizing these settings, duplicate work is eliminated, saving time and resource while ensuring system security by reducing the risks of resigned employees leaking important footage. Synology was instrumental in helping R&D's IT team effectively monitor all activities across their 56 stores, resulting in significant cost savings. By integrating with the AD server, they were able to achieve synchronized privilege settings and prevent any loss due to security loopholes in the system. In the deployment phase, an easy-to-use system provides a streamlined process that saves time when importing a large number of cameras and setting user privileges. This allows businesses to have the system ready to operate in a timely manner. While surveillance systems are built to ensure the safety of businesses, the most important element of an ideal surveillance system is security. As a leading enterprise storage solution provider, Synology has considered every aspect of security concerns, starting with the connection security between servers and devices. Surveillance Station supports HTTPS and SRTP-enabled IP cameras to enhance security and privacy of the network. In cases where a non-authorized person tries to log in and access the footage without permission, Synology offers a complete security mechanism, including privilege settings and dual authorization to reduce the risks of unauthorized access to the footage. Dual authorization is a powerful security feature that adds an extra layer of protection to the surveillance system. It requires an additional level of authorization from another unauthorized, from 
another authorized person before any sensitive function can be performed, such as managing cameras or accessing video records. This ensures that sensitive information is not accessed by unauthorized personnel, thereby preventing any potential data leakage. In addition, Synology Surveillance Station also offers detailed permission settings that allow businesses to assign different levels of access to staff, managers, or specific IT departments. This principle of lease privilege ensures that only authorized personnel have access to the necessary functions and data, providing an extra layer of security to the system. We want to share with you how Synology Surveillance Station has helped businesses set multiple levels of permission with just a few simple steps. Let's take a security guard for example. The turnover rate of security guards is considerably high. Therefore, privilege settings can be time consuming each time when there is a change in staff. We would like to show you how to utilize privilege profiles to build a profile specifically for security personnel and accelerate the privilege setting process for new employees. We'll also demonstrate how to leverage groups to improve management effectiveness for the system administrator. Open user, add, create username and password. We can also activate account by schedule. For example, the staff working day shift can only have access during 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Next, we will choose an existing privilege profile or create a new privilege profile. We will create a new privilege profile for this new security guard. Select type. Spectator can operate and view authorized objects but cannot manage them. Next, we can assign users accessibility to servers, cameras, IE modules, maps, and layouts. In the advanced privilege settings, we can authorize more detailed functions. For example, we only grant security guard the permission to view, download, and lock snapshots. Click done. And we have completed adding the user as well as building a privilege profile. We can also add the privilege profile for IT personnel, department manager, and administrator to streamline the privilege setting for new staff. When there's new security staff, the administrator can assign the privilege profile to the new user with a single click. If we edit privilege profile, the update will be synchronized to all the users in this privilege profile. We have shown you how to add a new privilege profile on Surveillance Station. Additionally, if your surveillance system needs to be integrated to the existing Active Directory server, or if you wish to quickly set up privileges for the existing Synology NAS users, the user group can be a useful tool. For example, when the IT departments set up the Synology NAS server, they should create the user accounts for the staff. Using the group function, IT can apply permissions to all users simultaneously. In this demo, we will walk you through how to use user groups to efficiently set permissions for a large number of accounts. As an example, let's say we want to grant specific staff members in the IT department management permission for the surveillance system using this user group feature. First, click on Add and name the group. Next, Select the privilege profile we have set up for pers IT personnel. Confirm the details, then done. Then we go to the control panel in DSM and select user and group. Under the group tab, find the group we just set up and click edit. Select the users we want to add to the group and save the settings. Finally, return to Surveillance Station 
and we can see that the three IT staff members added have been assigned the privilege of managing the surveillance system. If you use AD Server to manage users, you can add the NAS to the domain or, or LDAP and then go to the DSM to set up groups accessibility and surveillance station. Then go to the surveillance station user group and click update domain or LDAP data on the upper right to import the user group into a surveillance station. When the user group from the AD server is imported, users can manage and edit the detailed privilege here on surveillance station. In addition to setting up privileges for each staff member, users can also utilize dual authorization to achieve user level prevention. Synology Secure Signing App supports biometric identification and one time passwords, adding an extra layer of security in case credentials are leaked. Now let's consider the worst case scenario when a user's credentials have been leaked and an unauthorized person has logged in. What can we do to protect the data? On the data security level, there are three features in Surveillance Station that can help businesses to protect their data effectively. First of all, Synology NAS implements industry standard AES-256 encryption technology, ensuring that data is protected from unauthorized access, even when credentials have been breached. Secondly, setting up privacy masks on live views can conceal confidential information from being reported, protecting business intelligence properly. Moreover, Using watermark or live feeds can deter and track unauthorized recordings. And lastly, Synology Surveillance Station offers diverse methods to achieve recordings. Archive Vault is a tool that helps users accomplish archiving. With customizable tasks, businesses can maximize storage utilization while streamlining daily operations. For instance, recordings can be saved on the NAS for 30 days, after which they will be archived in the HQ NAS. To optimize daily operation, the archive task can be set to perform after working hours, so it doesn't impact network speed during peak hours. Synology C2 Surveillance is a tool to conduct remote archiving. Designed for a surveillance station, C2 Surveillance allows you to retain a remote copy of your security recordings, enabling investigation even if the recording server is stolen or physically damaged. Client-side AES-256 encryption protects the footage before it ever leaves the recording server. A private key is required for decryption, ensuring no one, not even Synology, can access the recordings without authorization. With Synology's intuitive user interface, not only IT personnel but also general administrators can easily safeguard connection system and data security while operating the system. However, for larger enterprises, IT managers and users from other functions may be located in different cities or even countries, making effective management a challenge. In cases like this, Synology provides built-in software specifically designed for multi-site management, allowing for a more intuitive management method. Deployments on a larger scale or across multiple sites call for a system with high scalability and centralized management. Surveillance Station CMS offers efficient management and is designed for multi-site and multi-server surveillance deployments with up to 10,000 cameras and 1,000 NAS devices. Additionally, maintenance can be done with remote updates through CMS. For growing businesses with rapid expansion requirements, the intuitive configuration process allows binding recording servers to the host server via HTTP and HTTPS connection without requiring any networking knowledge, making it easy to achieve regional or even global management. For more advanced features, EMAP offers visualized management that helps security personnel monitor footage at multiple locations. Since it's about visualization, let's show you how Synology CMS can streamline surveillance management. For large-scale deployment that needs centralized management, CMS is a useful tool to centrally manage all the recording server release. Let's assume that we're adding the recording server and the server room on the 10th floor to the main server. We'll show you how to use CMS with maps to set up and manage it more intuitively. Firstly, we open the CMS application on the main server. Click Add and enter the IP address of the recording server manually or search automatically 
to add it to the main server. Edit the server name and authenticate. You might be wondering if a user of a remote server can also change the setting and disrupt the system structure. To prevent that, we can use set permissions and prevent other CMS hosts from pairing with this recording server or prevent users on this recording server from making any changes. Next, confirm all the settings and click Done. It will start pairing. On the CMS interface, we can directly manage the users, maps, etc. of the recording server. When pairing is done, we go back to the monitor center and confirm that the cameras on the recording server are now added to the main server. Then we can utilize the maps and place the camera on its exact location on the map. So the system manager and security personnel can instantly grasp the whereabouts of the camera. Surveillance station also supports open street maps and Google maps or simply upload the floor plan manually to manage cameras. Here we have already uploaded the office floor plan. We select one of them and by clicking the pencil icon on the right, we can edit the placing of the cameras as well as the recording angle and direction. With this quick and easy way, we can add the cameras in the server room to the floor plan, allowing security personnel to monitor the area more effectively and intuitively. If there is a need to adjust or add cameras to the floor plan, it can be done with just a few clicks. So let's go back to Monitor Center and activate the motion detection alert in Surveillance Station. So when the system automatically detects any motion outside the server room, there will be a pop-up alert which can notify the system manager about the event. They can then track the event by identifying the location of the camera and act upon it. Many large enterprises have benefited from the comprehensive features of Zenaldi CMS, including a well-known European construction materials company. Like many chain stores, they were vulnerable to theft at nights and during the weekends and Without a centralized surveillance system to effectively monitor all 350 stores, they experience huge financial losses. Therefore, the user chose to deploy Synology CMS to manage the company's entire surveillance system across France. And the overall infrastructure includes 350 recording servers, 2,000 IP cameras, and one CMS in HQ. Moreover, with the EMAP application on CMS, they have access to the different EMAPs displayed on the screen and can monitor each of the 350 stores from the HQ. Therefore, in case of any intrusion, the guards can quickly and easily detect the exact position of the intruder in a specific store and at a specific time. Sonali CMS is a cost-effective solution for centralized management. Each recording server automatically sets the real-time camera stream of 2,000 cameras in low resolution to save bandwidth on the CMS host NAS. Additionally, expansion was done by adding new servers to the existing infrastructure painlessly. With the use of EMAP and integration with IO modules, the overall effectiveness of security management has increased. In addition to an intuitive management interface and operating system, system availability is crucial for large-scale deployments. Synology addresses this with the, the N plus M failover, which provides flexible options for automatic or manual transfer of services to a backup system during unexpected situations reducing the risk of data loss when servers are out of service. Compared to other failover mechanisms on the market, Synology offers a more cost-effective and efficient solution. Only one CMS is needed to assign failover tasks to the entire system, and it is, it is a built-in feature with no additional cost, allowing businesses to maximize system availability with limited resources. One Juva prison facility in the UK has implemented Synology's N plus M failover to ensure the availability of their surveillance system. As the facility requires 24-7 surveillance, the new solution had to support uninterrupted power supplies to ensure continuous operation during power outages, 
as well as other redundancy options. The new system includes 100, 167 cameras distributed among six Synology RS3617 RPXS units, which act as the recording servers. All servers are configured to fail over to a pool of two RS3614 XS units, acting as backup recorders in case of an outage. In this demanding and critical security environment, Synology Solution provides high availability and ease of operation, allowing system administrators to monitor surveillance footage and prevent any critical incidents seamlessly. We have introduced the major four phases of a surveillance deployment project. However, as technology evolves rapidly, so do the demands of customers. To meet these changing demands, Synology has developed a smart surveillance solution integrated with AI recognition known as the Synology AI-powered deep learning and VR solution, the DVA series. This solution offers two main advantages for users. Firstly, Synology NAS provides a private cloud infrastructure that ensures no analysis result or data can be accessed without proper authorization. Additionally, with built-in AI features, there are no additional license costs for analytical tasks. When new features become available, users can simply upgrade the system to access the latest features. Currently, the DVA model supports seven smart analysis features, providing users with advanced analytical capabilities to enhance their surveillance systems. We would like to show you how Synology's DVA models can help businesses streamline daily operation and allocate human resources more efficiently. Open Deep Video Analytics and select Create. We can see that the DV models support comprehensive analytical features to help businesses achieve smart management. For example, shopping malls and commercial buildings can leverage people and vehicle counting to implement crowd control and manage capacity. Intrusion detection can be placed to manage the entrance of privacy sensitive areas in the office. In this demonstration, we will set up people and vehicle detection for the building parking lot and intrusion detection outside a restricted area, as well as alert for the detected events. Firstly, we select the DVA task type. For the restricted area, we will choose intrusion detection. We name the task and select the video source. Next, we set up the detection target and whether to bookmark detected objects automatically in the recording app. Bookmarking the events can help system administrators easily track unauthorized entry. Next, set up task parameters. After selecting the detection direction, we can set up the detection fence in the right window. Then we choose the display information. Ignore small objects is often applied in outdoor use. For example, for outdoor cameras, it is common that there will be animals passing or leaves falling, which will trigger false alarm. Using this feature, it can reduce the frequency of false alarms. However, since we are setting up intrusion detection for an indoor scenario, we will skip this step. Click complete, then we can confirm the detection fence in the preview box. Then we move on to set up the people and vehicle detection for the parking lot. Similar to the previous steps, we name the task and choose the video source. Then we select the detection target and the detection rule such as ignore unmoving vehicles, etc. Moreover, we are continuously updating new AI and analytical features that can be used upon free upgrading. For instance, in Surveillance Station 9.0, it is now supporting license plate recognition, which can be set up here. Next, we set up the task parameters and click Done, then confirm the detection area in the preview window. When the setups are all complete, we can go back to the modern center and find the DV tasks in the list on the left and add the task to the monitor center. Next, in order for the security personnel to be notified of the event instantly, we can set a pop-up alert for the DV task. To do this, we click the alert setting on the top right and click the tasks and save.
when there is intrusion detected, there will be a pop-up on the map or it will show up the alert panel on the right. So let's open the map, then we can instantly confirm the location and act upon the events. So Ultron is one company that uses Synology's DVA solution to overcome these challenges. Ultron is a reputable supplier for Siemens and other prominent technology firms. As a result of the industry's nature, Ultron is obligated to store production footage for extended periods to address customers' concerns and facilitate accountability investigations. Despite having limited manpower, the company prioritizes allocating its human resources to produce the production line. Consequently, there is no des designated security administrator. Altron opted for Synology's DVA NAS as it offered comprehensive features and user-friendly design, enabling smart detection and automatic management to compensate for the lack of human resources. The company deploys facial and card template recognition and control entrance through the integration of IO modules. Additionally, the DSCAM mobile app enables remote monitoring, allowing users to monitor entrances in real time. This ensures that no visitors are missed, even when no staff is present at the entrance or monitoring room. To accommodate extended storage requirements, the user deployed Synology's expansion unit to increase the footage storage time. With Synology's DVA solution, users can achieve automatic management with limited resources, optimizing the resource allocation and improving their operational efficiency. One of the, mo one of the biggest advantages of the Synology surveil station is that its license is perpetual, making the solution cost-effective and accessible to businesses of all sizes. This allows businesses to maximize their investment in video surveillance while keeping the costs low. In addition to the comprehensive product line we introduced earlier, the DVO models offer a wider product landscape that enable customers to leverage AI deep learning to streamline daily operations and optimize resource allocation. By doing so, businesses can increase productivity and efficiency across their operations. Today, we discussed how Synology's one-stop solution optimizes every phase of a surveillance appointment. During evaluation phase, we highlighted the flexibility of Synology's comprehensive product line, which can accommodate projects of all scales. We also discussed the compatibility with 8,200 8, cameras as well as the scalability to expand to terabytes or even petabyte storage. In the deployment phase, Synology's easy to use interface simplifies the process from initial setup to a privileged settings and management. During system operation, users can easily safeguard security with Synology solution. Security is a key focus, and in addition to encryption at every endpoint, users can assign authorities, apply watermarks, and take other steps to enhance the overall system security. And lastly, the built-in CMS helps businesses and organizations of all scales implement centralized management. By utilizing N plus M failover, users can reduce the risk of data loss or other damages when servers are out of service, maximizing service availability. Synology Surveillance Station combines flexibility, usability, security, and centralized management, making it the most ideal one-stop surveillance solution on the market. So, on the side note, we will be touring with SecTech 2023, starting from next Monday, and we'll be stopping at Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and Perth. Come visit us and get a closer look at Synology cameras and our other gears. So that concludes our webinar today. Thank you for joining us today. And before we move on to the next section, which is the Q&A session, feel free to complete the survey by scanning the QR code to get a chance to win our WRX 560. We will be announcing the winner by email after you've completed the survey. And Blue Chip will also be providing you with all the 10 bucks Amazon gift card after the webinar. So now, Let's move on to the Q&A session. Yes, Josh, we've actually got quite a few questions here, so. Yep, okay, so 
Hold on a minute. Let me just. I'm sharing my screen. Okay. All right then. So the first question is from Finn. What is the process of adding new faces to the AI? The one, the alert security when someone who isn't allowed to access a certain group. So first of all, you would need to create a face database in surveillance station. And after that, you need to define the count to a certain group and assign the group to the allow blocked or VIP list. So this is for the IT administrators to assign these to the list. And the set, third step, which is also the last step, you can set up and enable alert settings in the monitor, monitor center. Uh, so that that is the three easy steps of setting the face ID database that you could do using our DVA solutions. Okay. All right. So second question is from Anuj. How do you authenticate for multiple cameras with different authentications? Um, so if the IP cameras are with different authentications, then you would need to insert the username and also password for several times for those authentications to be able to succeed. Okay. And then the third question is from Shane King. When you set the restriction on accessible hours, does it warn the user in a way that makes it obviously why they can't view the stream to avoid confusion? Okay, so for this one, we'll have a clear notification that tells the user account is disabled right now, and he would need to contact the system administration administrator for further assistance on this one. Okay, and then we also have a question from Craig. Can the CMS be run on a source device or does it need to be on a dedicated device? An example, can we configure or evaluate the solution using a single NAS? Okay, so CMS is used for managing multiple Synology NAS devices. If your deployment is only for in one Synology NAS device, then you can just connect your cameras to the Synology NAS and then view all the footage from the monitor center. But generally, we will recommend to have a NAS uh, the CMS host without adding any IP cameras. So if you do need to add cameras in the host server, please do not add more than one third of the maximum number of cameras that the model supports. Okay. And what is the bandwidth requirement between the remote storage devices and CMS? Um, it's very few. The streaming would be redirected to the CMS host only when you, when you request to see the live view or recording on the recording servers. Can you sync the recordings to a central NAS from the host NAS? This is also from Shane. Um, you can use the built-in application that's called Archive Vault to centralize those recordings to Synology NAS. It doesn't have to be a CMS host. So Archive Vault is also another package that is already, inst already installed in the surveillance station, and this is a free package, so you don't have to add extra cost using Archive Vault. So otherwise, you can also use dual recording feature to save the recording to, re um, to record it to different servers, including C2 surveillance at the same time. Okay. Um, another question from Craig. Can the system be configured to only record video if there is motion detection? Yep, you can adjust the recording schedule to save the recordings only when motion is, is detected. So um, there's gonna be motion detection and also there's gonna be custom and also there's gonna be continuous recording. So if you want um, the system to start recording once it detects motion detection, then you just select it as motion detection recording. Yep. Okay. So um, a question from George. Can you use the AI features with the deep learning and VR? DVA 1622 without the Synology cameras with pre-existing IP cameras. Yep. So the DVA models, DVA series, which is DVA 1622 and DVA 3221, you can use all the AI features that supported within the NVR, and it can be used by a general IP cameras because then the AI analytics will be done from the DVA and not from the IP cameras itself. Okay. Um, I understand. A uh, question from Greg. I understand that there are no licenses for Synology cameras, which is great. 
Are licenses still required required for Foxconn cameras? If so, how many licenses are free? Yes. So for the general NAS models, there will be two free licenses available, and there's going to be eight for the DVA models. So for you know for further information about licensing plans, feel free to reach out to me, or you can also visit the Synology website and go to the solution, go to the products page and see the license from there. Okay, are the Synology's cameras IP rated and what warranty do they have? So our cameras are IP67 rated and we have three years warranty on the IP cameras. And can you set up a task alert via email or SMS? Yes, you can. It can be done by using the action rule, which is also another solution from Synology and it's also free and it's also located in the surveillance station so that you have task alert via email and also SMS. Um, for a question from Darren, can you speak back to the camera so people near the camera can hear you? Um, so for the current base, uh, for the current release cameras, um, BC500 and TC500, we don't have um, built-in speakers just yet. Yeah. Right. So is there a surveillance phone app for the cameras? Yes, you can download our DS Cam app from, for um, iOS, it's from the App Store, and also for Android, it's from the Google Play Store. So from the DS app, you can view all the footages that is connected from um, the NAS. Or if you're using CMS, even you can connect the CMS, um, the CMS host to the DS Cam app, and then you can view all of the footage from the convenience of your phone. And also from the DS Cam app, you can set up notifications. So let's say um, if you set up a motion detection, um, um, motion detection notification, and if the camera detects motion detection, then you will get a notification on your phone right away. Yep. Now, uh, question from James. Do the Synology cameras come with a license? Yes, Synology cameras come with a license. So this means that um, you don't need to purchase an additional camera license. All the BC500 and TC500 comes with Synology. You can connect directly those cam those Synology cameras to the Synology NAS. Yeah. Um, can you control the movement of cameras from the NAS drive interface for those cameras that can motorize the rotation of cameras? Yep. If you connect a PTC camera and surveillance station, you can control the IP camera in the monitor center. So it's all there. You just need to log in to your surveillance station, go to monitor center, monitor center, and then um, control over PTZ camera from the PTZ over there. Yeah. How long does it take to fail over to back to a backup them? And how long does it take to fail back? So it totally depends on the number of cameras you have connected and also the NAS server. But um, generally, it should be less than one minute for the N plus N failover to take place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my Synology NAS won't recognize my high vision DS camera. What should I do? Um, so Synology um, only supports IP cameras. And if your high vision camera is also IP cameras, please check whether it's um, IP, sorry, Envir Profile S or Profile G um, supported. If so, if it's, a, it's still supported, I recommend you reaching out to our support team from your Synology account to see if there is any issues when connected to the connecting your camera, your Hick Vision camera to the Synology NAS. Okay. All right. Why is it so Okay, is it wise to use an existing NAS doing other tasks such as hyper backup? Actually, if one of the best practices when using Synology surveillance station, when you want to back up the full configuration of the Synology of the Synology NAS for surveillance station to another NAS is that you can use hyper backup. So um, it depends on your deployment, but 
if you re if you require backing up all the full configuration and also all the recordings to another NAS offsite, possibly, then yes, you can use the hyper backup to back it up. Okay, another question from Anush, and I think this is going to be um, the last question for today. Can DBA series be used for multi-purpose, such as file serving, sync, backup, et cetera? Um, yes, so the DBA models also um, has the DSM, and you need to log into your DSM first on your DBA models, and from the DSM, you need to log into um, the surveillance station. So all the packages are supported. So you can use hyper backup. You can use this as a file serving. So this is all included in the DSM. Okay. So I think that concludes the Q&A session for today. Um, again, I thank you all for joining and I'm passing this on to Leslie again. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, thank you, everyone. So we appreciate you being here. Thanks again for joining us today. And if you have any questions or would like to know more about Synology latest surveillance product, um, as well as other Synology product as well, uh, please contact one of our friendly Blue Chief staff or myself. And um, yeah, so um, thank you very much. And see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you.